Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Today, let's take a look at the iPhone 4's FaceTime feature. So FaceTime allows you to do a video chat on your iPhone 4 with someone else who also has an iPhone 4. You can start a video chat right in the middle of a regular phone call between the two phones by just pressing the FaceTime button. Now, there's one restriction. You both have to have a Wi-Fi connection. So you can't do it strictly over the mobile communications network. So if you're both in an office or at home or different places where you have the Wi-Fi connection, you can do it. And when you're doing it, you don't need the mobile connection at all. So you're using only the Wi-Fi bandwidth for FaceTime. It's kind of like video chat in iChat. Now let's take a look at doing an example chat with a friend of mine. Okay, so now I'm going to give my friend Dave Taylor a call and you might know him from AskDaveTaylor.com. We're going to call him and try FaceTime. Hey, Gary. Hey, Dave. How you doing? Fine. Well, let's try it. Okay. And now it shows connecting. Okay, well. And there we are. How you doing, man? Good. How you doing? So what do you think of FaceTime? Um, I like it so far. Actually, that looks better when I don't have the camera going up my nose. Yeah. Um, I think it's kind of a cool gimmick, if you will. Um, in terms of how much I'll actually use it in the big picture, uh, I don't know. I think it could be fun, but I don't really like using the phone anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I like using the phone as a gadget. I don't really like talking on the phone, you know? So, I mean, and I have to say, I do think that that's a sort of temporary point, is that what we'll see is we'll see some sort of an open source alternative mm -hmm. that will you know, give us anyone that has a smartphone with a, I don't, never clear on the terminology, front-facing, rear-facing, I guess a front-facing camera, um, but they're all going to interoperate. You know, this will be something Skype will come out with in the next three months. Sure. Well, I'm excited that, you know, supposedly all this stuff's supposed to be open source, so other developers can come up with things with computers, Android phones, and they would work with the iPhone 4, theoretically. Sure. Well, what do you think of it? I think it's pretty good. I mean, I plan on using it to uh, be able to talk to my, my wife my daughter when I'm traveling because cool. we've got two iPhone 4s, so it could come in handy. Well, that's good. You're, you're a good fanboy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So have you noticed that when you're in FaceTime that you can actually switch to using the other camera? So yep. I will, I'll show you here. So that's the view out my kitchen window. Very, sim very Great. exciting. Excellent. But you can see it's, it's a nice day at least. Yeah. Yeah, great. And you can go right back. Yeah, I mean, they've done a lot of things right, as Apple always does. Mm -hmm. So, you know, oh. I think it's very cool. Yeah, we're doing pretty, we both have, you know, uh, just home DSL connections, right? And mm -hmm. um, this is a pretty good quality video chat. Yeah, I mean, we have, what, about 50 miles between us? Yeah. So, pretty darn good. So as I mentioned, this feature might get better and better as applications are written to interface with it. Maybe computer applications on Mac and PC, maybe on other phones and other systems like Skype. So it should be really interesting to see what happens in the future and if Apple succeeds in establishing a standard in video phone calls. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.